Hello everybody and welcome to my introduction to Sekuli. So what is Sekuli and why do you care? Um, I plan to do tutorials on both Sekuli and Selenium as they both provide a massive help in a very similar situation. So uh, let's say you know exactly what you want to do within your uh, Python program and you know how you'd like to structure the logic of that program but there's some more in-depth things that you can't quite figure out. Like, let's say you, you don't know how to log into a website or type things onto a website, uh, interact with like maybe some sort of JavaScript plugin on a website, um, or possibly you want to interact with programs on your own computer that you're not quite sure how you can maybe hit file and do this and whatnot within that uh, specific program. So normally within, you know, pure Python programming, there's a lot of coding that you would have to do uh, in order to do these things. And so what Sekuli and Selenium, which I'll be going into depth later on, can do for you is help you skip some of the harder stuff um, and get straight to testing your logic for the program. So personally, I found that I just purely, a lot of times, want to see what the end result uh, is going to look like. Like if I'm thinking about developing some sort of program, Sometimes I don't want to spend literally like probably the hundreds of hours developing that really in-depth uh, back-end code. And I just want to test the logic um, and see if it's worth putting in that time, right? And so like the beginning of like my website, Centex, um, that was actually researched using both Selenium and Sekuli to decide if it was really worth me putting in the time and energy to code it purely within Python because you really don't... Selenium is a little better... But Sekuli, the downside to Sekuli is it's very hard to scale Sekuli because um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take control of your mouse, basically. So um, you couldn't have it doing multi, multiple tasks at the same time. I mean, you could, but it's still, it's still going to be using your mouse, and so the mouse can only be doing one thing. Um, Selenium's a little better, and it's going to run within the browser, and you won't be sacrificing your mouse. Um, but we'll get to Selenium later. So let's go ahead and get started with Sekuli. Um, the point of Sekuli is basically, you know, you can read on their website, it is to automate anything you might see on your computer. And it's going to be, there, there's a specific IDE for it, but it's going to be using the same sort of logic that you would use within um, Python. So that kind of same structure and syntax for a little bit, but you can see it's got, like to click the mouse, it's literally a click. And to type, it's type. And there's various ways to do key presses, like you can control C, control V, that kind of stuff. So anyway, we'll be getting into that uh, with a few Sekuli tutorials here. But to start, let's go ahead and download Sekuli. It's been a while since I've um, downloaded any new version of Sekuli. So I might be a little unfamiliar with their newest, but I think this is all we want here. Let's download this 1.00 Let's see if we can find it. I have the Windows. Um... And I think what we want is right down here at the bottom, the Sekuli IDE. Let's open this up and see. I believe this is what we want. So now what we want to do is download that. So let's see. It says we should go here back to their download page. So we'll pop over to their download page here. And I want... I see there's an API and an IDE for everything. We want the IDE, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the API, I'm kind of interested in. I don't recall ever using an API. I'll have to look into that, but maybe we can find a way to not sacrifice our mouse um, without it. So anyway, let's take the IDE. I've got Windows 6, or yeah, Windows 64-bit. So I'm going to download this, but they've got, you know, for all the versions that you might have. But I happen to be Windows 64-bit. Make sure you download the IDE, not the API. What we're looking for is this IDE. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and download it. I'm going to pause the download while we're waiting. All right, now that it's done downloading, I'm just going to pull it over to my desktop so we can work with it. Put it down here so it's maybe a little easier to see. And we'll go ahead and extract all. And there we have it. Let me go close out of this. Let's drag it over here. Let's open up, see what we're dealing with here. Looks like... There we go. Okay, so let's download or open up the IDE here. 
All right, this is definitely what we want. It looks very familiar, so that's good. That's good. I'm going to make it into a window that everybody can see now. And this should be what you're looking at. If not, then something is wrong. Um, so up here is going to be where we're going to script. And then these are some quick, um, you know, typically used buttons within Sakuli. And so this is where you're going to script out. If you had anything printing out, this is like your typical printout. We're just going to pop this down a little bit. And now what we want to do... So what I think would be kind of cool is pretty much everybody wants to, um, or a lot of people want to use Sakuli to do stuff that they just don't know how to do on their uh, browser. So why not use Sakuli to, let's say we want to use Sakuli to log in to a website, for example. Um, so this is actually a pretty easy task for Sakuli, and so let's go through that.